Neighbors in Wakulla County are wondering when the Crawfordville Highway Road project will be finished. I'm Kenzie Krieger, your neighborhood reporter in Crawfordville, and I'm checking in to see how the project is moving along. It's super excited to get it done. It will help things move a lot better. Cobb Adams works at Southern Storage Solutions right next to the road work on Crawfordville Highway, and they've noticed it. Yeah, the roads have definitely impacted us. Being a commission salesman, you know, you depend on those sales. Your family depends on those sales. Your bills depend on those sales. And so being a commission salesman, like I said, we want to get those sales out for, for folks. And the roadway has definitely hindered that with the construction going on. During Monday night's Wakulla County Commission meeting, a representative from FDOT updated county leaders on the project. When commissioners asked when the block some 319 light will be moved back to its regular spot, project leaders could not give an exact time frame. Was it hard to tell yourself? We don't know. That's the correct answer. When asking about the rest of the project, they said the contractor Anderson Columbia is waiting for an electrical cabinet for the signal at Whitten Road to arrive. They predict that they'll have it by September 1st. FDOT has agreed to grant them 60 days for the work. So if the cabinet comes on September 1st, the contractor has around the first week of November to complete the installation, plus days for bad weather. The liquidated damages on the project are around $10,000 per day if the work is not complete. While everything gets sorted out, salesmen like Adams who rely on people coming to their business are hopeful that the roads will be back to normal soon. And I'm really hopeful that this project can keep moving forward and get this thing done, hopefully before the end of the year. As of right now, FDOT tells me that there are no lane closures, but through the intersection on State Road 267, the speed limit has been reduced from 35 miles per hour to 25. In Crawfordville, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Kenzie Krieger, with ABC 27.